All right, here we go. Some Wildlands. Hey, this is Shake and Bake, uh, a.k.a. Scarecrow. And um, this is not going to be a real long stream, but I'm going to try to show you guys. Um, I've learned quite a bit. I've learned quite a bit about the game. And again, the more I play it, the more I absolutely love it. All right, let's get in the game here. Hey, smoking C96. Uh, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. All right, here we go. In this this stream, guys, I'm going to show you where, where I'm at. I'm going to show you um, this is single player. I'm not playing with anybody else. And I'm going to show you guys what I have done to get to where I'm at and also how to basically survive on your own ship. Basically have a Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Smoking. Uh, how to basically make a mobile base. So where you basically live on your ship and you explore this pretty freaking amazing world. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tell you. Okay, that's not the starter island. This is my second island, right? Is th what I love about this game is you cannot be fooled by the cartoony look of it. This game is hardcore survival. I mean, like you have to... Uh, you ha hey, how you doing? You have to think out, ev plan out every step you do in this game before you do it, and I love that because pretty much you die, that's it, and it's it's not too hard to die from the from the environment, right? Um, so um, here's the thing. So I built this ship. Okay, well, you know, you can yeah, basically I built this ship. But here's the deal: when you get on the starter island, right? This game is awesome, man. I love it. Yes, it is on Steam, 15 bucks, I believe. But basically, when you start on the island, just throw together your, your basic crafting items. And the first thing you're going to need is the smelting furnace, okay? Um, you need to make some storage chests. I recommend you make the, the bamboo chests. They're the easiest to make. You only need bamboo to make it. And it's really, they're really, and they hold, and they hold, 15, they have 15 slots in them. So... Definitely, that is a great container right there to use. Um, but you're going to need clay for this smelting furnace, all right? Um, so you, when you look around the island, just you got to look around. There'll be the color, different colors of shades on the. And it'll be on the surface. You're not. You're not going to dig down into the earth to find the clay. It'll be at the surface. You just got to go around. And, hey, oh, thank you, thank you, man. That was very, very nice of you. Thank you, sir. Um. I, I gotta live up to it now. The pressure's on. Uh, but what you need to do is find this clay, make yourself this smelting furnace. Now, once you get that, what happens, guys, in this game? And some people don't like this, but here's what I love about this game, guys. All of these recipes, you don't you don't see them when you start. They unlock as you find things in the world, as you gather resources, as all of these things start to unlock, and it's very, I think very refreshing you know a lot of these uh, crafting games you know you can build the crafting table you build it and it, it takes you what maybe an hour if that this game you got to think through how you're going to do this right so build this first you're going to build all these on the land okay you're not going to build them on a ship so you build these first right oh did i get stuck are you kidding me i think there's a way to um i think there's a, a way to get unstuck is it f9 no. Oh, my God. Are you, this has never happened to me, guys. Uh, let's look at the codex. Uh, movement. Let's see. Space, diving, start, stop. Fly. You can actually fly in this game, guys. It's ridiculous. Um, there's got to be something, I believe, to get out of it when you're stuck. I saw that they posted something. This will be a short stream if I don't get... Hey, what's up, Jacob? Uh, I will not. This won't be a long stream if I don't get out of this uh, spot here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Protective bear responding. Miscellaneous. You can take a high resolution screenshot. That's very cool. Responding. Oh, did it freeze up? Actually, it froze up, guys. Hold on. Yeah, it did. I'm going to start it over. 
Oh, did I grab it? No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start over though, guys. It's having some issues here. Hold on. I'm just gonna start a little real quick. All right, here we go. Let's just fire this baby back up. That has never happened before. So what I was saying is, it was your when you're on the island, right? Oh, why is it running? Come on now. I have not had one issue with this game. Of course, when you go to stream it, then you have an issue. So when you build a ladder, oh, I didn't see. I didn't see that's too late. But um, build the crafting tables and things on the island. Make yourself a little shelter if you can't find one. Now I found one on my island. Um, and so I was able to sleep in that. So here's one of the first things you're going to need to know is you're going to want the bed you make and it can be, um, you can, it could be, uh, okay. If I'm still stuck, use a ladder and use it to get out. Okay. I've never been stuck before. It's weird. Yep. I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? Why? Ah, this cannot have be happening to me. I thought they came up with something where you can get unstuck. Is there a, is there a tilled? Is there a tilled command? Oh my God. Okay, build a ladder. Let's see if I can even build a ladder. Because what if I have all the supplies on me? I can't build it. That's, that is not right. Are you kidding me? Yep, see, I don't have the stuff on me. Iron ingot. And let's see if I can reach. I can't reach them. Oh, maybe. Oh, right here, right here, maybe. Okay, I got some planks. And do I got rope on me? This is really ridiculous. What's going on here? <laughs> this is not right. Uh, well, here you go. This is a great thing happened on the stream. Look at this. How about that? And uh, I was all going to show you guys how damn cool I was. And let's see if I can reach the rope. Aha! I think we should be good. Let's see. And you see if I build a ladder in front of me, I need one more rope. And the grass is all the way down there. Oh my God! You and over there is I can't get to. There's got to be. What if I beat this thing up? What if I hit this and just destroy the kiln? Let's see if this will do it. Ha <laughs> ha Damn! I've never been stuck in this game. This has never happened. We're just gonna. I haven't even used this kiln yet. I you know I. You can make um, like clay things with it and stuff. I've not even used it, I'm so it's okay to destroy this for now. Okay, guys. All right, there we go. We are free. We're free. All right. Okay, so let's get back to business. Start off on the island. Build your crafting uh, items. Build this clay smelting furnace first, right? Um, as you play, you're going to start seeing more things that you can craft uh, as you play and unlock these recipes. Now. Uh, like I said, you want to get a structure and put like a bed in it. And the one thing you can you can do is you can make a um, a bamboo bed. It's only bamboo sticks and rope. It's easy to do, right? Uh, you can even do a, a, a grass sleeping pad. But it's got to be inside because I'll tell you why. Uh, hey, Zen. Oh, okay. Okay, take care, Jacob. But um, because here's the thing about this game. So you're sleeping at night. If you're sleeping outside and it starts to rain or bad weather, it will wake you up. You can't sleep through the bad weather. So that is why my bed is in here. So my bed is in here. So if it rains or storms, I can sleep through the night and basically fast forward through the night. So that's one thing. Okay. Um, there's a lot of resources on the island as far as food goes. So you have to, there's not a shortage of food. I and mean, there's all kinds of things you can eat. Um, so gather up some fruit, build these cheap old wicker baskets. Uh, they hold six slots in them. They're really easy to make. I want to say a wicker basket right here. It just takes you take sticks and any rope. You can make rope with grass, real easy to make, make a bunch of those. Then once you are all set, guys, once you're all set, then you're going to want to craft the large, let's see, is it large boat? Let's see what they call it. What are they calling this thing? Oh, I'm on the wrong spot. Hold on. Uh, large, right here. Large ship. You're going to want to build this large ship, right? Yeah, you can shoot those sharks. Yes, yes, you can kill all the animals in this game and eat them, get their skins and everything. I'm going to show you all that. 
but you're going to bake this big ship and just park it right offshore of your island and then basically do not rush to go out here and explore to find other islands, right? Because you will die, period. You will die. Take the time. Spend a couple days on your island, right? A couple days basically outfitting your ship. And what I did is I put a bunch of containers on here. I put I built another one of these smelting furnaces. Um, I also, you want to make sure you put like a, um, what do they call these right here? Why is it not lighting up? Let's, so where's my, uh, hold on here. They call it something. I'm going to bring this down here, guys. And this is a brazier, brazier, <laughs> how do you say it? Um, yeah, you could kill food that way, but there's plenty. I'm telling you guys, I wouldn't even go near the sharks and take the chance. They will kill you. Uh, there's plenty of food on the islands. I'll show you that in a minute. But you're going to want to make one of these to help keep you warm. I'm going to talk about weather in a minute. Um, and so basically, outfit your ship, build it, get it all done up the way you want it. Make sure you've got a bed on the inside, right? Uh, and then make your helm however you're going to do it. You're going to have to construct this uh, ship helm right here. Now, the other thing you're going to want to have before you ever leave your first island, guys, this is critical. You need to have some fur clothes, okay? You need to have fur clothes um, because all of a sudden you could hit run into a snowstorm. Uh, oh, it's awesome, Zen. A snowstorm and you will freeze to death that quick. So you all, So I always have this fur clothes on me. I'm ready. So if the weather hits... I throw these fur clothes on, lickety split, I'm warm, I'm good to go, and uh, it can happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward, guys, I'm going to eat a little food, get my, my food level up nice and full before I lay down, I'm going to get through the night real quick, and you just click your left click, you see the little sun, I love this little, you know, old school little animation, I'm sleeping through the night, sun is coming up, and we're going to click that, we're going to get out of bed, you're always going to normally wake up hungry, so you're going to want to have some food on you, click that. And now we're all set. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff. Okay, so, and I'm gonna head to another island and show you how I do this. Uh, now, before you ever get off your ship, guys, you have got to think through what you're gonna do, what you're gonna take with you. You have got to be careful. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the anchor, right? First thing up the anchor, and now we're gonna get on the ship's helm. Now, the other thing you need to do surviving, um, yeah, I do too. The other thing as far as sailing these ships, that's why I love the detail, the depth of this game is you just can't sail anywhere. You know, you got to pay close attention. And what I do is I look from the top and you see those rocks below, those um, reefs and stuff. <clears throat> you got to navigate that stuff because you your ship will go up on that stuff and uh, could get stuck. Uh, it could start glitching out. So you want to look from the top down. And you basically want to scan for those formations and just make sure you're getting into deep water. Uh, and if you and now once you got a boat like this, guys, I could live on this boat pretty much indefinitely. I mean, I got so much food on here, guys. I could live out here for weeks. I got a stove. I got everything I need. This is my mobile base, my home. This is it, and I love it. Now, what we're going to do now, guys, is one of the things that people struggle with or have, I haven't yet, and that is... How do you find the next island, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys. One thing they've added in an update that came out today is you could sail out forever and kind of not hit an island, right? They've put a warning in now that if you start to sail out too far or in the wrong area, it will pop up and say something like, you need to turn around. You know, you're heading in the wrong direction. But here's what you do. You see, I'm gonna start heading this way. I got deep water, I'm scanning. The other thing is you wanna look around because sometimes under this water, there could be a treasure and you could find scuba gear that you can scuba dive underwater. And from what I read last, you can't craft that. You actually have to find that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to first post person mode. And what I'm looking for is, um, is you're looking for birds, basically birds. And I can see already in the distance right there, there's a little dot and it's flying. And that is my friends, a bird. And so I'm going to head for this bird. These birds are kind of like your clue. There could be land over in that direction. And I love that because in the real world, if you were out and sea and you saw a bird, most likely that bird might not be too far away from land. And if you were able to follow it, it would take you to land. So I love how they did that. I think it's pretty cool. 
All right, so now we're strolling along. We got our sails up. We're going to go towards this bird. I'm just going to check everything out. Looking good there. Love the little music. It's chilling out. Um, I got, again, plenty of food. If, if the snow hits or a storm, I got plenty of clothes, fur. I got plenty of food, like I said. And if a worst case scenario, I could go downstairs, get in the bunk. I could fast forward through the night and wake up tomorrow, hopefully with calm seas. Once we get to this island, I'm going to show you what the kind of the checklist I go through to kind of prepare myself to disembark on the island because I'm telling you right now, you have got to plan it out because you could die like quick. And with each island I've been to, even though I've been to that's only my second, the animals get tougher. And uh, from what I've read the forums, you know, there's there's some areas that just get insanely tough. Um, I did find a rifle, so I've got a rifle now that does shoot suits bullets, and it's awesome. Um, I am out of bullets, though. You can make a pistol. Uh, you can make this helicopter thing. Uh, you, you know, you can make all kinds of crazy things in this game. All right, there's a, so we should be seeing some land soon. We're going to follow these guys. And you know, of course, this is going to prove me wrong. Now, when you can't see well enough, what I do is I get off the helm, I get back on the helm, and then you, you, know you got a better camera view here. I just want to check to make sure we're not getting into any, any shallow water. Um, one of the things that they do need to work on is the draw distance because the islands will pop in at the last minute. Um, so they definitely need to, I think they're going to work on improving the system where the islands come in definitely quicker so that you can see them more from a distance. All right, well, we, there's one bird. I still don't see land. I don't see any uh, shallow water, but we'll just keep going. Um, let's see what happens. And again, you know, if you really sailed out into these oceans like this, yeah, you know, you, you might get lost. So, like I said, bring plenty of food, warmth, and be prepared for the worst. And that is what I love about this game. It's like, you, it really is like this adventure. You have no clue where in the hell you're going to uh, end up. And you're always on the edge of your seat that, oh, man, what if something happens? Now, one thing I would advise you not to do is go walk around this ship while it's sailing. If you need to stop the ship, oh, we got some shallow water up here. Uh, bring the sails down, drop the anchor, then walk around. Because the last thing you want to do, this has happened to people, is fall off this ship with your sails up. And as you watch your ship and all your resources float away into the horizon as you are sitting out at sea shark bait. All right, let's just keep following this guy. It's looking promising. All right, I'm just, I'm just watching this bird here. Let's just keep her on track. I don't think he's going to steer us wrong. Hey, what's up, Nick Zaramba? Um, the other thing I love, too, is like, uh, like a, oh, a little 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 uh, hiccup there. I'm guessing that we might be getting near some land here. Um, is the is the differences in the islands? I, the, the different look, you know. I guess there's a, the biomes. There's Antarctica or South Pole, North Pole, whatever. Here we go, and there's a desert. See, like this looks like it could be snowy. Uh, let's get off the helm and back on the helm so that we have a better view up top. And because I definitely don't want to ground this baby on the shore. Um, to slow down, you use your S key to kind of drop sails. Now, this could be, uh, looks like, um, like maybe like the North Polish. And it's going to be cold. So I might have to get, uh, I got my fur on. I should be good. Now, if you put fur on in your hot climate, you actually overheat and that will kill you. So you have to plan that out too. Now, I'm guessing there's going to be polar bears here. So I'm going to, I, I got to be careful. I can, oh, geez, what do we got here, guys? Checking the depths. I'm looking, making sure I'm doing okay there. This is an interesting looking island. I don't know what the hell this is. Yeah. Okay, to the left I could see a bear. And I look for like a, a deep port that's coming in where I can get really close to the island. Um, this, is, this is the first time I've been to a snow island. So then, okay, drop sails half. Coming around, starboard, dropping it all the way, slowing her down a little bit, a little more. I'm watching my depth here. Right, right there, right there. Hold up, hold up. And what you're going to do is get her to a stop, get off your wheel, and then wherever you got your um, drop for your uh, anchor, drop anchor, baby. And it's all good. 
Look at that. We're in a new island, a new adventure. And that's what I love about this game. So I'm at this new spot. I've got to figure out now what am I going to do. And I can see already one thing. It's going to be cold as hell. It should be cold here. So one thing I think I'm going to do is I am going to come in here and I'm going to switch out to my fur boots, which I don't know why. It, I already have fur. I already have fur. fur, 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 fur. I already have fur boots on, it looks like. I thought I had metal boots. I don't know if that's a glitch right there. I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know why I should still have my uh, metal boots, but uh, that is, uh, that's interesting. They're, they're like, uh, they're gone. Huh. Per, they turned into because the other pair I had were uh, were iron. Okay, so we got we're all furred up. We're ready to go. I got my weapon. I've, and here's it. Okay, before you leave, you got the right clothes with you. You're warm enough. You can switch into cooler clothes if you need to. The other thing is your weapons. You're gonna want to make sure. Like I got 63 bolts for this crossbow. Uh, in slot four and five, I have a total of looks like 25 bandages. I'm ready to bandage up if I need to. Uh, I've got some flint with me. I've got a flint light starter if I needed to start a fire or something. I've got plenty of food with me. I've got some turkey. I've got some corn. In fact, I'm going to drag this corn down right here. Let's have a snack before we head out. Ship, sails are down, anchors down. We're good there. We're not going to lose our ship. All right, so we've hit land. The first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to be checking out for any predators. I'm looking for... That water is going to be really cold. But I can see already we got, we got us a big old bear right up there. I'm not going to mess with him. But I'm going to take out this little old penguin right here. Uh, it's just some meat. Sorry, buddy. Get us a little uh, penguin meat. And Because I don't think there's really going to be much resources on this island. I could be wrong. Right over there is some colored stone. And so I'm going to... I'm, and there's a little bit of color right there as well. I'm going to kind of circumvent uh, the polar bears or try to get around them. Because I'm a little nervous that my bolt, my bolt weapon might not do too much damage to the polar bears. Um, you can't have a map in this game, and I do have one. I don't really use it, to be honest, too much. Um, I just don't feel like it's too effective. But you know, basically, when you walk around, it will show where you've walked, and it will show resources sort of on the map. All right, let's see. I want to check out uh, these resources right here without drawing the attention of a polar bear. So again, I'm just being really cautious. You don't want to get too cocky on these islands. That polar bear is asleep. Nice. So let's just kind of navigate these guys. There's one asleep over there. There's a lot of polar bears. So what I'm going to do, guys, actually, instead of going this way, and I see the weather changes, and you've got to be ready, is I'm going to sail my boat around the far side of the island uh, and get closer to where that mountain is because I think there could be some good resources up there. I love the weather changes in this game, the environment. Even, like I said, even now, we're going to get really cold in this water, guys. So what I'll normally do is once I get up on this uh, boat, I'm going to fire up. I'm going to call these my fire pits. And sometimes they don't light. Now, I have not figured that out totally yet, to be honest. I don't know if it's that the weather uh, affects them. Oh, look at the snowman. Is, is that awesome looking or what? Because um, you can't add resources to these from what I've seen. So I don't know what. If it's because the stuff's wet, but I've been able to start it before, so I've not figured that totally out yet. No. And I think my my flints in pristine condition stuff will degrade over time, so you you, you got to pay attention to that. Um, let me see. I don't think you need to add fuel to these. I've I've done this before. I gotta remember everything's that. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's try some wooden pieces. And I don't, like I said, I don't think I need to do this, but let's see. It doesn't let you interact with it. 
That's what I'm thinking too, Zen. But look, so look right now. So basically, I mean, how cool is this? I arrive at the island. It's snowing. My ship is actually getting covered in snow. Now, again, if I did not have this fur clothing on, I would die. I love that. So it's all about preparation. Uh, they do need to fix uh, the weather coming in through the roofs. Uh, I think they're, already, they're working on that. Let's see, try it again. No, maybe not, guys. So if you get somewhere where it's a little colder and it's not snowing yet, trying to light those. You know, not that I, I'm still going to survive, but it's just good. I like to have those on. Uh, we're going to back this out of here. Let's get the anchor up. And we are going to back her up. I'm again watch. I'm watching out here. I'm looking for these shallow areas, and I'm gonna take her around that corner. I love the look of this game, the music, and just all of it. It's just it is an adventure, and it's and it's been so long since I played a game, especially single player, where I really feel like I'm on this kind of like cool adventure. All right, let's take her about, Captain. Okay, so Zen's saying also if you light a torch, that'll warm you up as well. That makes sense. Or if you want to make a fire. Again, I've got this thick fur on, so I really don't even need anything. Uh, but if I were in a hotter climate, I would overheat, actually. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. See, I'm hitting a little bit of ice, guys. I'm going to see if I can push through it. I probably shouldn't do this. Are we stuck? Let's back her up. We should be able to get her off here. Yeah, here we go. So again, it, you know, they could have just made this deep water where it had been easy, but uh, you gotta, you gotta be careful where you're steering your ship. So let's take her about, and we'll head out around that corner over there. Let's see if I can get her past this corner here. I think I can. Come on, baby. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Turn it. There we go. There we go. Nice job. And you actually can see that the wind blows a certain direction. You know, so that's going to affect your sails. I think eventually they are going to release the server file so people actually can run dedicated servers for this game. I'm actually tempted to do that. It's been years since I've run a server uh, for a game. I don't know yet, but I like it that much. I think it'd be a lot of fun, you know, especially running a private server. We had friends on here, and you guys are all out exploring, you know, uh, maybe even set up two little factions where you go at it. I don't know. I just think it'd be a lot of fun. All right, so we're going to bring her around towards that mountain over there and see. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting to some shallow here. i got to really watch out where I'm going here. I mean, the water just looks cold. All right, so he's hungry. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to line her up with this little straight, the Panama Canal there. Real quick, I'm going to slam a drumstick. You know, cooked meat is going to go a long ways. Back on the helm. We're good. Oh, we got some a little... Some little, okay, so we got to see, we, there's like, there's a little bit of navigating I got to do here. I'm going to drop sails half mast, and I'm going to take this little, this little hole right through here. I do this for minerals over there. I could probably get some over there. Oh, what is that over there? Oh, that's a polar bear over there. Let's go shoot this polar bear because I want to see how many shots it takes to kill a polar bear. So let's bring her about. This, the water is beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. It'll be interesting to see if he jumps off that rock once I lay into him. All right, bringing her about. All right, buddy, you just stay right there. Steel Crow's coming. I think what I'm going to do, actually, is... Um, Drop sails back. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little reverse here. 
Oh, 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 oh! Guys, we got a, um... Is that a submarine that's underwater over there? Okay, we may have some treasure here to find. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, Zen, that would be awesome, man. Yeah, I'm thinking like, uh, you know, eight, eight slots, you know, nothing too crazy. I just could see each of us in these, you know, our own uh, ships, our armada. You know, maybe we do, uh, you know, a little 4v4 or, you know, have two factions or something fun like that. I don't know. Or just uh, keep it friendly. All right, we're going to bring the bow around here, and um, I'm going to use that front part to shoot this guy. All right, back her up, shake. All right, Steel Crow, back it up, baby. All right, we're going to take a shot at this guy. Let's, uh, let's want to see what the damage is like uh, with, the, with the crossbow using uh, on this bear. Okay, so let's get... Always drop anchor. Do not risk it. Drop anchor. All right, and get your weapon of choice out, which for me is going to be the crossbow on this guy. And I definitely don't want to fall down there. He's up now. Let's uh, take a shot at this guy. That's two. Three. Four. Oh, geez. Five. Oh, no. Six. Okay, so six shots with a crossbow uh, to get him. Let's make sure we got no other uh, anyway sneaking up on us. We're going to get cold here for a second. Oh, we get the high. Nice. That's a, oh, we got some meat. Get the meat. Nice. All right, we're set. And I wonder if I can jump back on this. Oh, that was an epic jump. All right. So we got some meat. Good to go. I'll cook that later. I did get myself a polar bear hide. I know where I store my hides. Right here, you can see I've been doing some serious killing. I got goat hides, hyena hides, wolf hides, boar hides, Puma, puma, puma hides and wolf. Oh, let me, let me stack that. Oh, I guess only do five. Um, all right, so that's how we get us a little animal. We checked him out. Six shots with the bolt. Um, let's go ahead and get the ship moving again. I always seem to find something to do in this game. I want to see what we got underwater over here. So let's uh, let's back her up. I love this ship. I might add some more decorations to it. Uh, there's so many things you can craft in this game, and I've not even unlocked all the things, but, you know, from carpets, pictures, lamps, vases, chairs, tables, um, flags. I mean, there's just, it's insanity. Uh, forks, bowls, cars, some kind of propeller thing. For some reason, I thought I saw something back there, but I think it was the, actually the reflection from the uh, mountain peak. And I'm guessing there might be some good resources on top of that mountain. Uh, but it's gonna, there's so many bears on it that uh, it is risky. And what I'm going to probably do is park this out here and make this a couple day stay. And what I'll do is methodically go through and take these polar bears out one at a time uh, until eventually I can get to that middle mountain and see uh, what might be up there. I think I might have just got stuck again, not paying attention. Let's see if I can get over this. Come on, baby. Come on now. I think it'd be kind of cool if there's icebergs floating out here. Uh, I think I'm going to suggest that. You know, if there's some icebergs and you had to modify your ship and put an ice cutter on the front... All right, we're looking good. Let's uh, watch the depth here. I mean, one thing you could do is actually you could park out here and you could basically um, shoot these guys from your boat. But there's some good resources right up in there. I can see that already. One looks like clay. And there's nothing better if you can find a deep port that comes right up to the shore like this. And I'm going to actually use this right here, this spot. This is going to be perfect right here. Right there. All right, let's hold her up right there. Get her nice and stopped. Let's go drop anchor. This is going to be my home for the next couple days. I'm going to explore this island. And 
And let's just uh, let's just check our inventory real quick, see what we got going on here. Got some raw meat to cook, like I said. Uh, you can fish in this game, which I think is pretty damn awesome. And I'm trying to see where'd my pole go. I had a pole, and I put it my pole up here. Let's get my pole. Let's see if we can catch a fish real quick. Hey, what's up, Brownie Zombie? Um, let's see if I can get my pole here and... It does become a little bit of a chore trying to remember where everything's at, but uh, I've got somewhat of a weird system set up. I'm going to light these up while I can. Let's use our uh, flint. Put the map away. And let's light this baby up. There we go. Get some nice little fires going. And I love it. This is this is my house, guys. This is where... I don't like that. Basically, my mobile base. And, I, and if, if I find an island that I think is like a place I want to call home, I might set something up. But to be honest, uh, I'm really digging this. So I got me um, a spinning wheel. I got a weaving loom. Got the bed inside. Always put it inside, like I said, stove and fuel. Tanning rack out front. I've got the uh, blacksmith's, blacksmith's forge, uh, the brazier, fire pit, whatever. Smelting furnace. And we're all set. Again, I advise you guys to make these bamboo chests and these wicker baskets. Ton of space, easy to make. Um, let's get our pole and catch a fish real quick. And then I'm going to wrap up the stream and tell you guys just to recap what I'd said earlier. Okay, to fish, though, let's hold down our thing and just hold it down. The fishing really is kind of wonky. It really is nothing to you. You just hold your mouse down and basically either you get a fish or you don't. That's basically it. So I'd like to see them in, to add some fishing mechanics. Um, I think that I think that would be kind of cool. No fish. Let's try off the back of the deck here. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, I got yeah, I got it because I got to get up early in the morning with the kids. So, oh, right, we got us a fish, guys. All right, so we got us a fish right here. That's how you get the fish. It's a little cheesy, but, hey, it's still cool. Um, I'm going to store this. Uh, I'll just keep it on because I'm going to cook it later. But just to recap, guys, when you start off on the island, make your bed in a little structure. Make your baskets. Gather tons of little food. Uh, gather clay. You're going to need clay. Uh, so you're going to make a smelting furnace first. Um, then you can start making your blacksmith forge once you make the smelting furnace. Uh, you're going to need that first before you can make this blacksmith's forge, okay? And then what you're going to do is start building this ship on your first island, right? Build this this ship. Oh, what's this, uh, Zen? Oh, it has... Oh, man, I'm sorry, Zen. Is, is she all right? Hey, hello, Maritina1. Good morning from Germany. Oh, guten Morgen from Germany. Um, so... Build the ship on the first island, but don't leave too early. Take your time, build a really nice ship, get all your supplies on the ship, move it from the land to the ship, uh, rebuild the um, the crafting stations you need to get started. Um, and then once you're all set, make sure you do two masks, then you can head out. But the other thing you got to make sure you have on you at all times is fur. You need some fur jackets, fur boots, fur pants for when you get to a cold weather area. <laughs> yes, yes, Gemini, um, so that you can stay warm when the weather gets cold like it is right now. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna stop here, guys. I, that was a lot of information. Uh, this game is on Steam for, I think, like 15 bucks. I have, I've gotten 15 bucks out of this and, and more. I absolutely love it. Um, don't be fooled by the pixel graphics. There is a lot of stuff going on uh, under the hood of this game. Um, and you have to, and if you die, you die. Uh, you basically can spawn back without your stuff. You'll have to go find it if you can. Uh, but I have not died yet. Knock on wood, I don't plan on dying. Oh, okay, Zen. I, okay. I hope she's okay, Zen. Um, and that's it. Any questions, pop them in the chat, guys. 
And uh, again, 15 bucks on Steam. Uh, I actually paid for this. I did not get this free. Uh, so I'm not trying to give these guys a plug or anything. And what's cool, too, when you get on these islands, there are, like, little secrets you will find, little Easter eggs. Like, there'll be huts. There'll be secret areas and stuff where you'll find all kinds of loot, um, which I think is awesome as well. Uh, the game gets my machine really hot. Okay. But it's something they can fix then, Zen. Let's go ashore. Uh, I don't want to risk it. Do I want to risk it? Do I want to go ashore? Yeah, this is, let's go ashore real quick. I got to take a sneak peek. And again, I want to be close enough. Uh, there are sharks in the game. I, and so I do a scan around the ship. Uh, they will get attracted to your uh, ship. Um, okay, good, Zen. All right, man. Thoughts are with you, buddy, and your family. Um, you want to watch out for sharks uh, before you get off. And definitely the water is going to be cold when we get in here. So get in and get out. I just love the look of this game. I tell you guys already, we got one polar bear. So you got to really look out because they'll sleep. And if you get too close to a predator, they then will come after you. And sometimes they'll come at, after you more than one. And right now, again, it's six bolts to kill these guys. I, I do want to do a test to see if he comes after us or if he runs. Make sure we're not getting we're not getting uh, ambushed here. Let's take a shot at him. Here we go. All right, one shot at him. Let's see if he... Two. Looks like he's... Is he coming for us? Oh, shit. Yep, get in the boat. Holy crap! Holy crap! Get on the ship, Shake. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It could end that quick. So don't get cocky. All right, let's take him out. We got a couple shots in him. That would have been not good. Let's take it. Let's do it. And I don't know if um, it matters where you hit an animal. Should be one more. Oh, maybe not. This guy, he's a... There we go. Nice shot, Shake. Let's get our let's get our uh, bounty, and then we'll get back up on the ship. There we go. Back up on the ship. It's gonna be a cold swim. Here we go. Yeah, it's it's awesome, man. I I, I mean, I've not played a game like this in a long, long time. And I know I said about other games, but the sense of adventure in this game and the strategy involved is is really for me epic. Um, like I've been, pl I've played this nonstop for the last couple of days. I think I'm almost at, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 hours, maybe already, something crazy like that. Um, because you really got to think out what you do. You got to plan it. There's the building aspect. You, you can create your own like property. You know, your your boat, your ship, however you want to. You can go out and explore, uh, discover new lands. You know, play with your buddies if you want to play multiplayer as well. Uh, I just think it's really cool. All right, guys. I uh, let's see. Yep, yeah, Bohemia Interact. Same guys that make Arma Arma series. Yep. Oh yeah, it's first person view. If you're uh, if you hit your C key, I prefer the third person view. The only time I go into first person view is when I'm harvesting uh, a tree that I I, cho I chop down. Once I've harvested a tree, I'll, I'll go into first person to pick things up, and then I'll go back to third person. I feel like in third person, uh, it's kind of cool to see your character, but I also then have a better view of any animals trying to sneak up on me. Um, now, again, the crafting, guys, to me at first, it was frustrating, but then once I got, like, I understood what was going on, it's refreshing. Because see all this stuff, guys, tons of stuff, none of that was there when I started the game. And it doesn't really hold your hand too much telling you how to get all these things unlocked, how to craft them. So you methodically do them over time. And it's kind of, after a while, kind of cool as you unlock new things. And you know what? It's a mystery to it. You got to figure it out. I think that's really actually refreshing and cool. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap her up here, guys. Let me check the chat. All right, guys. Uh, so again, Steam. It's I think fifteen bucks. Um, I like I said to Zen earlier. Uh, in multiplayer, I I I'm, I don't quote me, but I think if you look, I think it's like eight maybe at the moment. 
Let's see what uh, Maratina says. I uh, played, uh, I played, but none of these games gave me the amount of fun from the start. Like, yeah, I agree, man. This this game for me has really kept my interest longer than a lot of other games have, and uh, that's saying a lot when it comes to Shake and Bake, <laughs> as you guys who know me know. Um, and I feel like all I want to do is like explore these islands. I want to, you know, make it to the next island, see what's there, survive. Uh, without losing all of my great stuff I've got. Maybe at some point build a house on an island. Um, so, guys, uh, thanks again for the year for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I do wish you guys the best. Um, I'll do another probably live stream this game when I embark for my next island just to share what I find. But I think when I was going to say earlier that eventually they're going to release, I think, the dedicated server files. I already found a website that's advertising a server for this game. I like it so much. It's been years since I've run a server for a game, but I actually might run a server for this game, a uh, small little private server, and you know let people on here, and we could just kind of have a good time, you know, with an ar armada of ships, and you know do some role playing or whatever. That'd be a ton of fun. All right, ah, donut. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, there'll be more streams of this game uh, here in the next couple of days. Uh, sorry you missed it, but you can go back and watch it, my friend. All right, guys, uh, wish you guys the best. Auf Wiedersehen to Maritina in Germany. Um, and uh, just so you know, I was born in Frankfurt, Germany. I got family in Würzburg, Germany. How about that? Sign me the buck up. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. All right, guys. Okay, Zed, that would be awesome. All right, guys, cheers, peace. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you can. And I uh, appreciate it, and I'd love to have any new subscribers as well. Thanks, Zen, for your help, man. And uh, best wishes for your wife, man. Hope she gets better soon. All right, take care, everybody. Oh, oh yeah, that would be good.